Here's a strange question for Know the Developer, but I think this is, a, this is symptomatic of how a developer thinks and feels about, um, about the clients. And that is, is there a central sewer system? So, so important in this part of the world. Because if there's no central sewer system, what the developer is doing is pushing the cost of managing waste to you, the consumer. And, you know, depending on where you are, I mean, here we are in Belize, you can see the sand behind me. Uh, the soils here on the island are very sandy. The, the soils in m much of Belize are sandy as well, alluvial. Uh, but on the Pacific side of Central America, whether it's Nicaragua, Costa Rica, or Panama, it's a totally different soil type. It's a heavy, thick, expansive clay. And that clay in the dry season will take a lot of water. But in the rainy season, when it's saturated, will take no more water. And so putting in a sewer system that's environmentally safe and sound costs a lot of money or a septic system you know in your in your property because you've got to actually dig out a bunch of the clay put in a bunch of the sand and 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 it costs a lot of money so what's happening is is yeah you might get a great deal on your lot but how much is the septic system going to cost and and remember there's no and this is like a yucky topic so I hate to even talk about it but but we're going to talk about it because this is all about due diligence and making sure you know there are right questions to ask. Uh, a really conscientious developer will enforce an environmentally safe septic system implementation on the part of the homeowners. But, you know, a lot of stuff's a little loosey-goosey out there. And so, or even the developer's not around. I mean, the developer sold off 100 lots on the side of a hill, beautiful oceanfront lots at the bottom, beautiful view lots in the, on the top, and kind of everything in between. But the developer's gone, and now you've got 100 owners who all own properties, and it's up to you to put in the right sewer system, septic system. So your developer comes along and says, yeah, 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 we put a tank over here, we run a couple lines, bop, 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 bop. That's great if you're at the top of the hill. But what if you're three quarters of the way down the hill and the people behind you put in a septic system that's not quite functional? Dry season, no problem. Rainy season, when the soil's saturated, everything comes up to the top and runs downhill. Again, if you're at the top of the hill, who cares? But if you're anywhere else on that property, it really might be a yucky situation. And so understanding how the sewage is being handled is so important for your quality of life. And it's also important in the know the developer because in the end, it's the developer making the decision to spend the money up front and put that cost into the lot or push it off on you, the consumer, and let you deal with whatever happens coming later. Um, ask the question. That's an important but very yucky question. <laughs> <laughs>